I'm your host, Melena Scantlin, and I've tracked down the experts to get your fitness questions answered, take control of your life, and get the body you've always wanted. Coming up, helpful info you don't want to miss from You Asked For It. So basically what you guys are going to do is I want you to, to go first, Courtney, okay. and pick a box. Right. Whatever's under that box, show us a workout that we can implement to our training. Ooh, kettlebell. All right. My favorite. That's your favorite? It is. There's a lot of women <laughs> who would come into the gym and say, well, I'd like to stay away from those. I know. They look scary, but they're fun. Um, all right. So I guess today one of my favorite moves is um, the goblet squat. The goblet squat. Well, okay. actually out of press. So you want to hold the goblet about chest high, grab the handles, and you're going to sit back into a squat. Make sure your knees don't go over your toes. And at the top of the movement, push the kettlebell above your head into a press. So this is a great full body movement. Burn like a lot of calories. It would work your glutes, ladies, oh, yeah. if we're getting ready for <laughs> bikini season. Exactly. We've got works plenty your, of time for yeah. that now, but if you're getting ready for bikini season, yeah. then that's Hamstrings, a good... Hamstrings, glutes, also works your shoulder and the core because you're moving the, the weight during the movement. You're going to have to stabilize yourself as well. So Reps weight to start out with for those of us at home that um, haven't... You know, this is a good way. Anything like 12 to 20... Um, pounds for a girl to start out with and uh, you know if you're not looking to get bulky you can stay in the higher rep range about you know 12 to 15 reps I would say. She already has a nice workout yeah. <laughs> flow about her. Thank you so much. I'm gonna try this guy here. All right. So medicine ball we've got eight pounds there. Eight pounds I was gonna do the goblet squat but she took mine so well you, well, know. you know eight pounds is not a lot of weight um, so for I think, you. I think uh, you know, yeah for me uh, <laughs> I think abs would be great for this. Um, Technically, I'm gonna do something that I would usually use less weight because I don't okay. like to do uh, weighted ab, weighted obliques because right. you don't want to bulk up your sides. Okay. Um, but you know, if you have like a, maybe a five pound or three pound, a smaller one than this, it's definitely not gonna hurt. But just turning sideways, you know, to hit engage this oblique, tap the ball, tap the ball, just back and forth. So you're doing a crunch the whole time because you're crunched up. So you're hitting the center abs and you're also hitting the obliques as you turn. Okay, and your feet are actually lifted off yep. the floor, which is a good note. So you don't ever want to let those heels touch the ground, right? That's right. And uh, what if you wanted to make your abs sort of pop out? How do we accomplish that? Um, any, any kind of weighted ab exercises. Um, you know, a lot of people will be on the decline machine and, uh, you know, maybe be holding a 45-pound plate or you can do uh, rope crunches where you have the rope above your head and you're just crunching down from your knees, uh, things like that. Any, any weighted ab exercises will bulk out your abs, so. Perfect, all right guys, thank you so much.